Hey guys, we just concluded Day Trade Friday today. It's September 4th here. Uh, we made about, what, five trades here in the main account, one day trade in the Trade Challenge account, and it was a hell of a day. Some of the members are messaging me on my personal Facebook page here that they made over 200% on our SPY puts today. The market pulled back. We took advantage of that early in the morning, and then we had that climb, so our long calls for that October Expo are looking good. But let's take a look at what we did here. As you guys can see, it's started off the day the first trade was the Intel trade we got in for 28 cents you know that trade went against us and we sold it for 12 cents we took about a $260 loss on that first trade on Intel so first trade of the day it's like ah man you know I was down you know but you got to put that emotion aside look at that market and see what's going on and take advantage of those opportunities second trade we saw the market starting to pull back then. You know, about 10 minutes, 20 minutes into the open, we saw the markets pulling back and we took advantage. We first jumped into 10 contracts as SPY, September 4th, 343 strike puts. We ended up closing that out for a 24% gain. So our first trade, we took a loss on. Second trade, 24% gain. Third trade here on SPY. This one here was a 338 put, four contracts. $5.85 entry, so that was about a $2,300 trade. We closed that out literally for about three to four minutes later at $6.50 for an 11% gain. We locked in $255.82 on that second SPY put. First SPY put was $179.68. Then we came in in the afternoon session for the Pro Trader session, and we did some more SPY puts there. We picked up the SPY September 11, 340 strike put. We got in for $531, sold for $620. So as a small $1,500 trade here, we turned that into $1,858 for a net gain of $263.87. Where else can you take $1,500 and make nearly a $300 gain in three minutes like that? So that was really nice. Then we made our four trade on SPY in the main account here. We just got two contracts for about $1,000. We closed that out for about $1,255. So we made another about $200 profit, $191.91 on that trade. That was an 18% gain. So even with that first trade of the day, that loss on Intel that we made, we still ended up with a net profit of $550.68 in realized gains. And as you can see up here, that's September 4th to September 4th, that's the entire day. And these are the realized gains that we locked in on our day trade Friday. Now, we also said, hey, let's grow that trade challenge account. We saw that good setup so now here is a picture of the trade challenge account here so the trade challenge account this is what we did this is a cash account that's why it's not showing the cost there but we were in for about eleven hundred and fifty dollars on the september 11 340 strike put we closed that out for fourteen hundred and twenty three dollars eighty seven cents literally about 15 minutes later so we took $1,100, turned it into over $1,400, and realized a $273.78 profit on the Trade Challenge account. So that was a hell of a day. It was a really great day for us. Uh, we locked in profits both on the Trade Challenge account and on the main account here for Day Trade Friday. So it was a great Day Trade Friday. I'm looking forward to the next one here, guys. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what the market does next week. So great job today on Day Trade Friday. And I look forward to seeing you guys on next Friday. Take care, guys. Have a great weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, so the markets are going to be closed on Monday. I'll see you guys Tuesday. If you're not signed up yet, you could go to our website, www.breakingchartalerts.com, and get signed up there. we got many packages uh, that could suit your needs there. So take care, guys. God bless, and stay safe. Bye-bye.